government is going to be something that you could actually take and submit to the government, right? Put your name up, put your letterhead on it and submit this and it will be accepted. And then we'll talk to you about what are some of the next steps and how that ties into doing micro purchases. Because again, a lot of people ask uh, about micro purchases. In fact, if you have not already, go back and we have a video here. I'll drop the link in the chat. There's a video here with my girl, Judy Bratt. Okay, that's the video link there. With my girl, Judy Bratt on doing micro purchases. So again, that video will help you as well in addition to what we're going to talk about today so peace everybody's ready all right so let's get into it i'm on sam.gov but as always uh, i take and i like to pull my information from sam.gov and i put it over here into an excel spreadsheet and again if you need me to do this i will show you through the forms i'll walk you through it and what happens is on excel you'll see really quickly we scroll through, there's 309 opportunities. Sam.gov, this says 308. And so what I did was I just downloaded it, put it in Excel, and I used Google Sheets. I personally like Google Sheets because Google Sheets, I find, one, it's free to use. And once you learn how to use it, you won't have to pay for any of those uh, Microsoft subscriptions. Ronnie, welcome. David, welcome. So I like to use Google Sheets. So let's jump into it. And let's see if there's anything on here that interests anyone. Again, if there's something on here that you find interesting that you want me to talk about, just let me know and we can stop and look at it. All right, sole source for Lockheed Martin, uh, HVAC terminal unit at the VA hospital, fire damper actuator replacement, router replacement, uh, some power tools at Warren's Air Force Base. 15 month lease of 75 NMCI certified MFDs. I don't know what that is. Bulk fertilizer. I like this. Let's put on this bulk fertilizer bit. Let's put on this bulk fertilizer and see what they're talking about. All right, this is being delivered to Fort Pierce, Florida. You're going to email your quotes. I've got a couple of documents here. Let's see what the document. Canon cameras. I knew somebody was going to ask about those Canon cameras. All right. There's a tag label. Oh, wow. So you know what's funny? I know that company, Wedgeworks, out of Belle Glade, Florida. I actually have some rental property in Belle Glade, Florida. That's pretty funny. I know this company. That's hilarious. Okay. I'm going to pull up this document, see what it's talking about. So essentially, it says the government's in need of 28 tons of dry bulk fertilizer to fertilize tree crops on this research farm. I'll just tell you where it's derived from, and it tells you the formula. Proprietary materials that are used in Wedgeworth's formulas has proven to be excellent for the government. So, um, so interesting enough, right? I do not, I bet you that the people from Wedgworth are not looking at this stuff. Ah, it says it's a combined synopsis solicitation. Oh man, I think I messed up guys. I thought I did, sources saw it, I did. Okay, so they clearly, they um, this is in the wrong category. You see notice type, sources saw it. And it's actually a synopsis solicitation. So. Little mistake. Caruso, yeah, that makes sense. All right? But I wonder if the company out of Bell Glades is looking at this bid. Right? This company Wedgeworth. Bell Glades is a very, very, very small town. So 
All right, let's keep it moving. We won't waste time. Uh, let's see. Hellfire weapon system, multiple NSMs, replacement of UPS batteries. My buddy John does batteries. Meltwater software. Nozzle segment. Guilty library subscription, library content management. You're going to curate your information, both internal and staff, staff and digital guides. You're going to create a subject course, topic guides. I'm going to pull that one up. Sounds like an LMS, like, like Teachable, like a learning management system. Welcome, Charles. Welcome, David. Lou. Welcome, Sharon Weeks. All right. Make sure, by the way, I don't have any of my people in the crowd. Tell everybody hit the like button, so hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Let's pull up this content management system. Media streaming services, social networks, other media content providers, enable libraries to curate and share information resources for internal external staffing, create subject course topic guides with ability to add, reuse, share content, must be able to provide a single point authorization for multiple, including ProQuest, OverDrive, um, fine tune access controls, passwords, form survey builder, continually updated staff training, how to for creation, creation guides, include bulk check in, library social media. Uh, details, statistics, user sessions, browser, OS breakdown, include mobile devices. I don't know. Okay, that sounds complicated. I'll skip it. <laughs> We're going to do some simple stuff. All right. I got you, camera person. I got you. Uh, science peer review scholarly publication. Full text online access to the journals. Um, Annals of Nuclear Energy, Computer and Geosciences, Journal of uh, Environmental I think this is easy. Let me try this one. Give me one second, guys and girls. By the way, if you're just joining us, make sure to put your name, who you are, what do you do. Drop it in the chat, please, if you're just joining us. You want to know what's out here. All right. So let's see. I'm wondering if this is just a licensing subscription. Media streaming distribution services. Okay. Must be able to provide full online access to these journals. The database must be part of a scholarly portfolio supports database. Must provide peer reviewed journals and scholarly publications. Hmm. Yeah, I still think this is a, a subscription model. But again, you know, I'm not that smart, so that doesn't work for me. Platform service for creating video tutorials. Whoa, what's up with this? These people want to go digital this month. I'm gonna. I got I got one of these is gonna gotta make sense to me. What's up, everybody? How was your Fourth of July? Anything crazy happen? Anything? Uh, anybody want to share with us on a Fourth of July story? Drop it in the chat. Anybody had an exciting Fourth of July? Anybody? You know, set their house on fire. Probably don't want to share that. Okay, yeah, um, again, another complicated one. All right, cameras it is. Anybody go anywhere special for 4th of July? Oops. Mm -mm. Y'all see my picture I posted on YouTube? All right, Canon cameras. Here you go. Canon cameras. Let's see. How do I download to list Excel? All right. HSF furniture. Okay, real quick. So let me go through this. Brett, uh, who was that? Asked the question how to download. Um, Bail, let me go through this real quick and then I'll show you how to download it. Uh, Umar, we're not going over DLA today, but thank you for asking. All right, camera, Canon cameras. So let's pull up Canon cameras and see what they're asking for. Do, 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 do.
R5 closes June the 7th? Huh? Do I have my dates mixed up? Update July 1st. Okay. Well, either way, we're used to using an example. So it's fine. All right, let me, um, okay, this is a good one. All right, can a camera person, this is a good one. All right, so this is a good example. We can do this one. All right, give me your name. Who's the person who wants the Canon cameras? All right, so, okay. Uh, sorry, Shannon, you had COVID. Sound of Freedom movie, never heard of that, Charles. All right, who's the person who wants the Canon cameras? David, all right, David, your Canon cameras is up. What's your, give me the name of your company. All right, DRK Consulting. All right, we're doing David's deal. All right, so this is the Canon cameras that we pulled up. R5, this is Department of Labor, uh, Mind, Safety, and Health Administration. That's why I said the Academy. They're looking for, okay, they want description, two Canon cameras here, two Canon, one this, battery charge, one prograde, one's too small rig. They want all this stuff, all right? And so, David, since you said you're one of our students, this is what they're asking for, right? So, I'm going to, let me do this. I'm going to do something different real quick, David. Give me a second. Give me a second, everyone. I'm going to pull this up on my other screen so we can keep sharing. All right. So I personally, again, like I said, I like to use Google Docs for everything. Um, I don't want to buy any more subscriptions. So Google Docs, and I pulled it up into Google so I can show everyone here on the screen what we're doing. All right. So this is what they're asking for. All right, hey bro, what's up? All right, so this is what they're looking for, right? And David, all they're asking you to respond to is a one-page cover letter that includes your company's name. Um, firms will need to provide a response along a five-page of just each of the performance requirements listed in trial product specification, provide with this announcement, all right? So let's see, let's pull that up. All right, here's your specs. They want the brand or equivalent, brand or equivalent, brand or equivalent, brand or equivalent. Okay, so there's your specs, there's your RFI. So you're gonna do a one page cover letter. I don't think you guys need help with that, right? That's pretty simple. Or you, okay, I'll tell you what, you know what? I'm not gonna assume. By the way, 61 people watching, uh, make sure you hit the like button, okay, real quick. Uh, and make sure you tell us who you are. So that, we, that way we know who you are and what you do. So tell us who you, tell me who you are. Tell me who you are, tell me what you do, the name of your organization, and the city where you're from, all right? And then hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Good stuff. All right, and so the goal today is to go through one of these source of sites completely from start to finish and fill it out. So we're in sam.gov. Some of you asked me, how do I get to this Excel spreadsheet? I'll show you really quickly. So what we do, 
And so when we come on, let me just go to the home page. For those of you who've never seen it before, when you you have to be logged into Sam. So when you log into Sam, you hit search. After you hit search, I'm looking at contract opportunities. Once you're in contract opportunities, I per, go to notice type, sources sought. And then I choose a date range. So let's say response time, next three days. And it gives you 300 results. Following, I know it's going a little bit fast. Up in the top right corner here, it says action. I click action, download, and then it turns into a, the CSV file. It download, and then it gets put up. Um, let's say YouTube example. Okay, and it downloads, right? So that's YouTube example. I'll get out of this one just so I can show you again. So now I open up my Google Sheets, right? Everyone who has a Google account has Google Sheets. And from here, I just upload my YouTube example into Google Sheets, which is free. YouTube example, open, and voila, there you are. See the top, YouTube example. So you have your notice ID, the titles, descriptions, everything's in there. Cool. All right. By the way, again, so that's what we did. If you're just joining us, uh, we did. Don't forget, our summit is coming up. October 12th, get your tickets here. I'll drop it in the chat for you. Hey, we're going to have a great, I mean, I've already, I'm talking to some big name sponsors. I'm not even going to, I don't even want to hint at who they are because I don't want y'all to come just because it's the big name sponsor. I want y'all to come because y'all want to learn some stuff. Uh, also, our next cohort is open. So it's open till July 31st if you want to take our one of our paid programs. I'll drop that in the chat as well. Cool. All right. So now, let's, so now we've got our sheets and we've got our SAM, all right? And we're gonna get back to my man's example, David, on the Canon cameras. All right, so I, there you go. I walked everybody through it. You saw how we do this stuff and you go from there. All right, now let's jump into the Canon cameras. So the first thing I asked us to do was our one page letter. What I'm gonna do, David, since you said you're one of our students, David, I'm going to go into the vault, right? So anyone who's in Academy 3.0, you have access to the vault. And here's a sample letter of interest. So there's a sample, David, that you can download from inside the vault. And what we'll do, I mean, here's a Microsoft Word version, right? And so we can essentially mimic that letter for the cover letter. Let me see, where's my Microsoft Word version? Huh. I guess I saved it wrong. So, I don't want to pull that one up. I'll pull up the, let me go to my Google Docs. Bio, bio. All right, here's one I did recently. So again, let's look at what the requirements asking for, David. I love examples. So when I, whenever I start, thanks, Eli. Appreciate you. All right, Cage Code Dunn's business size contract point of contact. All right. So basically, it looks like this. So we'll do cage code, business size, and point of contact, right? Something very simple like that. Okay, and we'll we'll do it. Uh, but then the question that you really need help on is provide a response which address each of the performance requirements listed in draft provided with this announcement. Each major task requires written explanation to access for capability. Uh, the major tasks include providing items listed in paragraph three, scope, 
So to provide past government experience with similar scopes of this draft, past example includes contact numbers, identification points of contact. So the, the issue, David, with this particular one, all right, the issue is, is that the government is asking you for previous government past performance. And for everybody watching, that's not standard in a source of thought. So we could go through it and fill out the example, but this is not standard. So I would hate to, to do a bad example. You guys tell me what you want to do. I'm with you, whatever you like, or we can keep moving on to something else that makes sense. But this is not standard what they're asking for. But again, we could do it if you guys want to do the example, or we can move on to something else. You let me know. Ah, you say you don't have it. Okay. Well, that's okay. All right. You guys want to still want to do this one or you want to move on to another one? Incognito, Infinity Financial IT and Cybersecurity Management Consulting, Medical Supplies and Staffing. Man, Eli bought the tickets. Good stuff. Can't wait to see you. All right, Ron's just find something else. All right, move on, move on, move on. All right, good stuff. Yeah, because, um, oh, and the reason why I say that, and I agree with you, is the fact is that the idea behind this is to drum up business. And so if the government is requiring you to already have previous business, that's uh, clearly not a good example to showcase. So let's let's move on. But at least you guys got a chance to see, you know, kind of like going through it. All right. Let's go back to my Excel sheet. Make myself little. All right. And we were down near the Canon cameras. Uh, and again, if you see something else you like, just drop it in the chat, please. Hold on one second. Give me one second. Yeah, we went through the broke fertilizer and it turned out the bulk fertilizer was a actual solicitation. But the bulk fertilizer was super easy. All right. Spacer rings, inlet guides. Uh, let's see. License for software licensing. NAFC H headquarters procurement. A stereoscope. Cycling trainer. A spare of software. Procurement of spares in support of an aircraft. I know who's doing that one. Refraction decks with console, recumbent cross trainers. Okay. Ambulance stretcher. Engineering work, acute decks training. Improvement to RV trailer pad sites. I like that. So I like this improvement to trailer pad sites because the kind of people that do this work are not going to be here looking to, to do this work. All right. Again, a lot of this stuff, the people that do this are not here looking. Right. So Kenosha asks a really good question. She says, should we avoid these contracts because they're asking for past performance? Yes is your answer. Because it's, it's not typical that they ask for government past performance, right? Most of the time they're asking for past performance, but it's not government past performance. So in this particular example, which is why I thought it was bad, is they asked for government past performance, which I didn't really like that as an example. I thought that was a bad example. Okay. 
fire suppression services. I'm going to do the aircraft parts. Uh, let me keep going real quick, just in case it's something else. Just dry cargo tartar, fire station. Icebreaker, what is that? Credential redesign. Testing services. Modular approach shoring systems, portable radios. Chiller. Punching bag boxing arcade machines with custom graphics. Let me just look at that. That sounds like fun. All right, let's check this out. All right, punching bag, boxing arcade machine with custom graphics. I like that one. It's under doll, toy, and game manufacturing. Anybody ever heard of that category before? I sure haven't. All right, prospective offers should do your company name, UEI, cage, address, phone number, email, point of contact, website, business size, large or small. Cap capability statements should include the following. Brief history of your business include your organizational structure, experiences applying arcade machines with custom graphics to commercial market, how the resources necessary to fulfill the requirement, describe subcontracting services previously utilized, your small business, how would you conduct 51% of the work, Describe your current commercial federal contracts and structure. <laughs> um, provide a rough order of magnitude price estimate that includes purchase customization of three each punching bag boxing arcade machines with graphics. Okay. I'm going to pull it up. All right, punching bag arcade games with custom graphics. They want three of these. These are the dimensions. They should be moved from trailer to event location. Uh, machine shall be a free play machine, no coins. Scoring based on digital numbers. <laughs> Must have a start button for reset. Custom graphics are required. Government will provide graphics file. Ooh. So they want. Ah, look at that. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? I think that's super cool. So the government wants the actual like punching thing. Did anybody guess that? I, would, I didn't guess it. All right, this looks like a little bit out of our league um, to do. So let's keep going. Sorry, I'm trying to find something good for everyone. I might have to go back to your aircraft stuff. I might have to go back to the computer. Hewlett Packard Enterprise Server. Software renewal. Diaper distribution. Diaper distribution demonstration and research pilot. Okay. That sounds interesting. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else. Someone says, "What's the rule of thumb for markup on products sold to the government?" Oh, there really is no rule of thumb for products sold to the government. 
because some products are cots, which are commercial off the shelf items. And so what happens is when you have a cot product, which is off the shelf, typically those are low margin items because you can buy them everywhere. And then when you have specialty products like this whole bunching, this punching bag thing, this is probably going to be a 30 to 40 percent markup because it's specialized. So the rule of thumb is the more specialized it is, the higher the markup, the less specialized and off the shelf it is, the lower the markup. But in terms of percentages, uh, really, until you start looking at opportunities where there are a high concentration of bidders or no bidders, you really won't be able to decide. I've seen some people mark things up 5%, 10% when there's heavy competition. And then I've seen people where there's one player in the market and they've doubled the price. So it just varies depending upon, right? You've got to have a little bit, you got to give me more information than that, or you have to do some more research than that to determine it. And we have a really good video on that that I made, which walks through how do you do the research to find opportunities where there's no bidders. Go back, someone said ambulance stretcher. I don't see the ambulance stretcher. Exhibit mount. Someone dropped something in the chat. David said tactical holster. Is that on this list? Wait, uh, community living center. Someone on here earlier today said they did something like this. Let me go back. Oh, Kenosha, she, uh, you do transitional hospice care. Okay, is this something that you do all similar? Community living? Boat day report. I thought I could get out of here at eight o'clock on the dot. It was my goal. But I still haven't found something that makes sense for us. All right, furniture. Someone brought someone today did furniture. All right, who did furniture? Someone said they did furniture. I saw them earlier. Ted McCampbell Roofing and Construction. Where's my furniture person at? Raise your hand, the furniture person. All right. I can't find my furniture guy. Um, this was for them. Maybe they, they signed off. All right, let me look at this furniture one. Oh, maybe they'll be back soon. All right, Ebro says do furniture. All right, Ebro, I got you. All right, here we go. Oh, shoot, my diaper one. Dang it. So if I get my diaper one back. Yeah, I want, I want to see that diaper thing. I forgot about that. I just wanted to see it. Department of Health, Human Services. Okay, they want to provide training and technical assistance.
All right, this one they're wanting you to. So this is interesting because this one. So they're gonna, this one they're actually doing it for grant recipients. And they're gonna have you to provide technical assistance on best practices for expanding and strengthening existing diaper distribution programs for communities with low income. Whoa, I think we got a good one here. I think we have a good one. Okay. Training on bulk purchasing and efficient transportation of diapers and diapering supplies using economies of scale models. Training on bulk, building bulk purchasing schedules that ensure diapers are distributed to each participating family at least once every two months and consider changing the size of children from month to month. Training on building bulk diaper purchasing schedules that are inclusive search sizing child 0 to 18. Technical assistance on best practice search for data collection and diaper distribution programs. All right, I like this one. So provide your capability statement that you perform this kind of work. Describe your experience performing efforts similar to this. Describe how your efforts relate to the work attached. If you have a GSA schedule, demonstrate past experience on up to three similar projects. And then put your UEI company name information. All these questions will be answered. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. That was a good one. Yeah, it's a win-win-win for a community. Exactly. Right? That's a good one. I like that. And it just tells you what you're going to be doing. And this is interesting because this they're actually giving out a grant to do this. So uh, all you have to do is show that you, you know, you've. Uh, I know there's people who've done this in the past. And so what I would do, right, with something like this is... For me, what I would do is I would find someone who's done these types of programs in the past and I would team up with them and I would respond to this because, again, there are people that are doing these kind of programs, but at the state and local levels and municipal levels, or maybe they're doing it with a local nonprofit, and I would personally tag up with them on that. All right. Box office says, how can we find past contracts to bid correctly on micro purchases? Uh, so unfortunately, the, the way that micro purchases work is they're not typically solicited through SAM. So the way that you get to them is by doing this kind of research, finding out the needs of the agencies, and then during your communications with them, they're going to be the ones to let you know what's coming out of pipeline. And so this is the first step to identifying opportunities that are within your wheelhouse or your swim lane that you can then take to the agency and say, hey, I can do this. And then at that point, they will start is talking to you about other opportunities that are not per presently being solicited publicly because the micro purchases, remember, are not required to be solicited publicly. So there is no database of them that you can go out and you can find. So the best thing, if you wanna look at past contracts, the past contracts would have to be from actual people who did the contracts because you can't get that from information from offsite. All right, so you said, how does that work? Uh, what's your question on how does that work? Is that, are you talking about how you, would you team up with somebody on this opportunity? Is that what you're asking for, Taylon? I like this one though. Let me go over to the. Yeah, why not? All right, let's go over to the furniture one really quick and we'll try and wrap up with this last one. By the way, make sure you hit the like button, please. All right, and like I said, we just opened up our new cohort. So uh, you have until July 31st. If you've not signed up for our programs, we are still issuing $10,000 credit at the minimum levels, and then I think it's fifty dollars or 60000 at the upper level. All right, this one is, 
Office Furniture Design Installation at the Yakama Agency to be determined whether it's going to be set aside based on responses to the source sought notice. So again, to, to the person that asked earlier, right? You see what this says? It's gonna, they're gonna determine whether or not they set it aside based on this particular response. So if you respond and you match like the criteria, this may never be solicited and they go to you directly to win this opportunity. And that's what happens to us all the time. All right, include your name, company address, UEI, cage, point of contact, capabilities narrative, and information that pertains to this announcement. All right. This one due July 7th, 1700 PDT, no more than 10 pages. Let's pull up this document, see what it says. I like it. Ebro, this might be this the one. Ebro, put your company name in here so folks can see you. Hey, Ro, put your company name here, please, sir. All right. Where are you at? Q, what's up, baby? All right. Uh, Bell Rel, put your company name in here. Good Vibes, New York. Best name of your company, Good Vibes, NYC. I'm waiting for a company name. All right. Company name, where you at? Somebody who's the furniture person. Okay. I still don't see no names. All right. I'm going to do Lavanya Angels Touch Lab Solutions. Since she put her name in here, she followed instruction. Lavanya, you're up. I'm doing you. All right. So let's go in. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm doing Lavanya anyways now. All right, so Lavanya, we'll take off these, take off that. We're not chasing that no more. All right, is this our opportunity here? That was the Bell Glades fertilizer for those who cared about the fertilizer bit. That's the GovCom vote. All right, so we're doing this, right? Yeah. I like it. All right, so we're doing this. Furniture, office furniture. Okay. All right, let's do it. So this is a little bit different. So I'm gonna grab this. All right, I'm gonna leave my cover letter here and I'm gonna put it under here. All right, so we got a name of company, address. 
U E I. Pay code. Point of contact. Capability statement. Right. All right, so that's what they're wanting. Okay. All right, so that's everything they're wanting. And we're doing. All right, Lavanya is out of Atlanta, Georgia. I will steal this UI and make it hers, close enough. Okay. Page code. Okay. Okay, her point of contact. Okay. All right, Lamania, so we got you going. All right. And we're going to change everything here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right, Lavanya, you're good. Now let's go back up to the requirements. This is for this is for office furniture. Yep, office furniture. All right, any questions so far? Anybody's watching? Let me know. Okay, this is being made out to okay. Brian Roberts. Don't forget your email subject line right here. 
Okay, that's your email subject line. So I'm going to change this to my document subject line. Let's do that. How are we doing? All right, six people watching. Everybody's quiet. Everybody just watch me work, huh? Everybody's watch me do my thing. No problem. No problem. I will keep at it. All right, from a Viteria, Veteran Affairs. Dun, 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 dun. Um, Okay. All right. Keep rolling. Man, Brian Roberts. All right. Ah. Okay, look at that. Avani Touch Labs, please submit the statement capability to our ability to perform on the above reference project. Lionship Lab is a. Getting somewhere, it's looking good. <laughs> That's what I say, it's very interesting. Uh, yeah, this is fun, right? We're working. Okay, so we did one through eight. Um, okay, you gotta, now we gotta do specifications that make sure exceed. So let's do that. Why do we skip eight? So let's make sure we did eight. So it says one with company name, address, ID, cage code, ID, cage code, point of contact. Okay, seven was capability statement. Where did that go? What was six? So they made a mistake. Is anybody? Ah, uh, did anyone else catch that? Wow, no one caught that. We're all you smart people. Look at their number ordering number. I was like, why are my numbers off? Does anyone see the mistake? Look at my numbers. One, two, three, four. I'm like, what, 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 wait, what's, I'm missing something. Does anybody see the mistake? Let's see who's awake. 51 people still left. And see who's awake, who sees the mistake. That's what they're asking for. This is what I'm filling out. That's what they're asking for. This is what I'm filling out. Anybody see the mistake?
Who's the first one to guess it? You see it now. Do you see it? Anybody else see it? What is it? What's the mistake? Thank you. There's no five. Exactly. Their system goes one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So I'm like, why am I trying to fill this thing out? This thing's not working. Yeah, they skip five. All right. Exactly. Good job. All right. Cool. So they asked for a uh, point of contact, including your phone number. We did that. They don't have five. So we're good. So we got five, six, seven. Right. So this pre statement of capabilities. Um, all right. We're going to put C attach. All right. Boom. Um, and then applicable uh, information pertains to announcement include, but not only to the following specification unit that means to exceed the product identified above. Cool. So again, they are looking for this furniture. We got email subject line. We got the delivery. And here's your furniture requirement. So they've got. Okay, so they're looking for office furniture design layout app offices. I don't see the specifications. I'm looking for specifications. So here it says descriptions and specs. You provide sort site plan, on site assembly, in a manner that's effective in the time. <clears throat> okay, I got that. The government's going to give you power. I got that. Where is the? It tells me kind of furniture. Okay, so this is this is sometimes which makes it challenging, right? It looks like they're missing some information on a type of furniture that they're asking for. All right, so the offices are, okay. So we don't know what kind of furniture they're asking for at this point. The Yakima Agency is, Washington, the South Asian HT. We're in the requirement section. Let me make sure, Hebrew. This is the diaper deal. So we, the diaper deal is over with. Let's see what this one is. This is the diaper deal that's over with. All right, diaper. Sorry, no more diapers. So the only document I have, Ebro, is this one document here. Now, the good thing about this, let's just talk about that. Wow, a lot of people left. Uh, the good thing about this is since there are no requirements on here, the good thing is that we can help um, write what we've done in the past or something that makes sense and submit it to them. So in this instance, what I would do is I would see the kind of furniture they have at these places. Let's see. So I don't have any information, Hebrew, uh, on them in terms of specifications. I have this is the requirement section. So yes, to your to the person's. 
to your question. Okay. All right. So it looks like again, I don't have any. I don't have any. Uh, and going through this, I don't have any information that answers the questions. Right. So this actually, I think this is this is good and bad. So the good side of it is, uh, we've had friends of mine who have essentially helped the government shape the requirements based off them not having the information and details. The bad thing is that. Uh, right, like you're, you may, you're, you know, you can't, they can't compare apples to apples. However, what I found in these instances is that the government doesn't really know what they want. So if you are competent and you've got a team together that has done this in the past, you can make recommendations and suggestions. And when you respond to this request, they are going to want to talk to you further and explore, right, helping them actually map this thing out. So the way I see this opportunity is whoever responds to it with some sort of uh, logic and background and understanding of requirements for furniture, the government's going to essentially want to have an offline conversation about how you can help them get to their goals, right? So in answer your question, LinkedIn user, this I would not reach out to the contact officer at this point. What I would do was I would send a proposed right uh, furniture items that we have that they bought in the past, and I would submit that to the government, and so that they can say, okay, this person is knowledgeable; they know what they're talking about. Let's have further discussions. So let's do that, right? So let's go out and try to find something that's comparable and propose it to the government. How's that? All right. So let's look and see if we can find. And I, again, I'm already 16 minutes past my time, but let's look and see really quickly if we can find any furniture that we can reference and then we can uh, submit that. So here's our NAIC code. We'll go back to Sam. And we'll get out of sources sought. We'll take off this anytime. And we'll look for let's just search for that next real quick. All right. So here's some furniture that's been solicited. All right, there's no attachments here. They didn't give me nothing to go off of, man. Nothing to go off of. I don't know anything about this. Dang it, come on. Give me a clue. They want office furniture. We know that. But I don't know how does it Am I missing something? Is it tell me how much? Is it a, like, is it desks and chairs or just chairs? Yes, Eddie, we can call to find out, but I would rather. Here it is right here. Let's see if we can. Okay, that's too general. So let's go into, let's look it up by their PSC code. I saw the PSC code in here. Yes, you can always call and find out. But I would, I'm, I'm going to try and see if we can find something else that we can propose, that we can use as a write-up to propose. Does that make sense?
I'm looking for something else I could use as a write-up to propose. And again, generic. See, I like this. Okay, so I like this, right? So this particular agency um, essentially creates some specifications and um, it talks about furniture, which is, right, the chairs, different types of chairs, different types of couches, different types of desks, different types of like, you know, standing desk. And then this is, looks like a workstation, command console. Okay. So now for me, again, uh, you know, I, this, look, it was literally, what, five minutes of research? <laughs> okay. So now at least you have a baseline for, right, products. That, that you can have a conversation about, right? So this in here has high back desk chairs, workstations, side chairs, right? So now, at the very least, let's go back in here. And it says, okay. So, um, now that I've read this, Eddie, I would agree with you. Because it says, it does say specifications that meet exceeds the products identified above. They have not issued any products above. So what I would do is I would list out, right? Because let's assume you can't reach them on the phone. If you can reach them and get the answer, that's great. But let's just assume, worst case scenario, you cannot reach them and get the answers on the phone. What I would do is I would list out these categories of furniture. So I would list out uh, all these different categories, not every single piece. So here they have them based on categories. So like these are high back task chairs, high back task chairs, mid side task chairs. So let's, let me show you what I would do. Let's do it. Is this the right one? Yep, it's Lavanya stuff. Okay, cool. All right. All right. So let's finish this up and let's try to get it done in eight minutes. Mr. Roberts.
Okay. All right, Levine is starting to look good over here. Levine Test Labs please submit capabilities to destroy our ability to perform on the Buffer Project. Lab Corp is Atlanta company as women-owned small business certified our primary next code capable of being requirements above. We've successfully completed more than 10 furniture contracts with various scope sites throughout Atlanta over the past two years. We provide Platform references for all projects that are starting to say that the common agency requires furniture design installation at two locations. Our product team has five years of experience and will be led by Mr. Jason Roberts, senior design manager, who has recently managed two substantial furniture projects, exceeding six hundred thousand value. Currently, by in touch lab has four employees managing products throughout the city of Atlanta. Uh, we are familiar with site floor plan design and on-site requirements. The work shall be performed using our manpower in a manner that will ensure value effectiveness, use of staff for facility time, provide an on site safety officer and quality control person throughout the product duration. We don't need this. Take that out. All right, submit so a requirement. We've looked at this opportunity and we are able to provide. We've done program throughout Georgia. Okay, here's your company name, address. UEI Cage KLC my mom capability statement attached and now let's do the requirements okay cool and let me delete this all right and then let's just do this really quickly. And I'm going to send all of y'all to bed. Who's still with me watching this crazy guy do freaking responses? Who's in the, who's in the chat? Drop, drop me who's still here with me. Just, just do me like a throw a deuces or something or, or power sign or hands up. Throw a hand notion if you're still with me. Okay. What do you got? 
Jennifer's here. Lavanya, me. Ebro, still here. All right. Love it. I love it. I love the energy. I need energy. I need energy. Right? So let's talk about me and the specifications. And we're going to go grab some of this stuff over here because I like this kind of stuff. So let's say um, we're not going to do photos. Let's see how do they let's how do they, how do they do their charts over here, All right? Again, as you get and, and, you know, and I know that they teach you in college. How many of y'all went to college? How many of y'all are using our college degrees? I know they teach you in college, right? This is called plagiarism and stuff like that. But in the real world, we call it modeling. Your lawyer does it. Your accountant does it. All the professional services that we spend a lot of money for, they model. So we're just modeling. So I'm going to do item, item, item number, item description, manufacturer. Okay. Mm. All right, so we'll do that. Is it starting to look nice? All right, looks good, right? Okay, and then I'm going to do, like I said, high level, high level, high level, right? So we're going to do high back. So I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah. And then we'll just keep going. And I'm just going to do like these titles. And so, right? Now we look really smart, don't we? Instead of you guys just calling saying, what do I put in? What do I do? Like, I'm going to go, hey. So I was doing some research and I was digging around and these are some of the standard things that you guys need. Right. But however, I don't see any specifications. Who's going to look smarter, me or you? All right. So let's go in. Uh, some more rows. All right. Now you guys get what I'm talking about. So I'm just taking the, the top areas. I want to show that I'm familiar with office furniture. Duh. Don't y'all, can't y'all tell? I know office furniture. Hello. I'm not just sending them a blank document or without any effort involved and saying, tell me what you want. I'm going to send them this and say, hey, we have access to all of these different things that go into office furniture. See the difference like that so at least you've done some due diligence and you have got gave them some things to think about and maybe you even gave them a spreadsheet that they can work with again I try to make their jobs easy That's what I do. And by the way, if you notice, you're still in the call. This isn't taking a lot of time. I know we every everyone wants everything quick, easy, dirty, fast. Give me the answer. Promise me that it will work, and then I'll start. That's not how life goes, right? Like you got to do it because you believe that this thing is going to work out. All right. And again, just an example. I think I have five pages. So let's go in. We got conference tables. We got a bookshelf. Got to put a bookshelf in there, right? Don't we got to put a bookshelf? Bookshelf. Got to put, put some filing cabinets. Can't, how are you going to have an office without filing cabinets? Right? Okay, we got bookshelves, a filing cabinet, 
I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put in workstation freestanding just as it because it's a lot of different workstations. I'm not gonna put in sizes. I'm put in workstation freestanding. Ooh, they gotta have a side by side refrigerator. Gotta have that for office. You know, government people gotta eat. All right. And let's see, waste basket, I'll skip, rubber mats, microwaves. Again, you get the drip. So then this is what I would submit. Okay. And let's make sure I'm within my requirements because I think it says, okay, I've got three pages. I think I can do up to five pages. Pretty sure. But let's make sure certain. Okay, actually I could do 10 pages. Right? So now if you want to take something like this, right, that's written out, right, with their information, that tells you who you are, what we're doing, and don't forget you're gonna attach your capability statement to the back of this. Right. If you want to take something like this, I'm going to make a copy and I'm going to call it the Vanya Furniture Fonts. And look at that. Bam! Let me change this address here real quick. Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm going to, you know, you guys are so nice for hanging around with me today and watching. All right. Boom. Okay. You know what? You guys are so nice. Staying around watching. I'm going to let you have this. Boom. There it is. Take it, George. You can have it. All right. It's all yours. Take it. Copy it. Steal it. We did it. No problem. Thanks for watching. All right. So, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your name. Japs, I love this session. Yeah, you know, I like these sessions also, but a lot of people like to be like pumped up and hyped up and talk about there's billions of dollars and trillions of dollars and all this money and blah, 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 blah. And so, you know, that's great and dandy, but how do you get to it, right? So, no one's telling you actually how do you get to this stuff. So, for me, a lot of these guys out here are really not um, helping you. So, Again, oh, Keith said the term is called embellishing, right? Yeah. So for me, like this is what I like to do with people is give them practical things that they can take with them and do something for it. Eddie, right now we don't have any the grant for the veterans. Um, we are still looking for sponsors. If Look, if you guys want to help me help you, we're looking for sponsors for our events. We're looking for sponsors for our nonprofit. If you know an organization that you think wants to help support veterans, women, um, DNI stuff, send them to us. Send them to me. Uh, their contact information. We will reach out to them. You don't even have to call them if you're like, "Hey, these people said they want to help. We've got an organization for them to support." I want to give out more scholarships, but unfortunately, USAA, the program through Goodwill, they ran out of funds, and so um, unfortunately, we can't do that. But Again, as we get more responses, as we get more funds coming in from organizations supporting us, we'll be able to do more stuff like that. All right. Let's see. What site is this? So, again, uh, for you, everything by John, we were on Sam.gov and we pulled down some requirements and actually went through and did a little write up that we could submit. And then I just shared with everybody, all the 56 people who are still watching. I just dropped the link in there so you guys can have it because you were so generous with your time with me today. I decided to give back to you. And so now you can have it. So you're welcome. Um, and uh, again, we're looking forward to those who are rolling in our upcoming August 1st classes, those who are coming to our summit, right? Again, our new cohort starts 
um, August the 1st. Enrollment, we just open up July the 1st. Jennifer says she doesn't see the link. It might be, Jennifer, because you're on LinkedIn. That's why you don't see the link. So let me see if I can get you that link. Yeah, but I think it didn't post to LinkedIn. That's interesting, Jennifer. Yeah, it did not post to LinkedIn, Jennifer. I don't know why. All right, Jennifer, I will. Hold on. I got you. All right, send me, um, Jennifer, do me a favor. Go on LinkedIn, send me a message real quick. I'll get you. Here, I'm going to hop over on LinkedIn, Jennifer, and send it to you personally. You ask for it. I'll DM you right now. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm out of here because it's late for me. Jennifer, Jennifer. There it is. You got it. All right, Jennifer, you have it. You good now? Oh, Taylor, how'd you get on LinkedIn? Maybe you're on the other side. All right, listen. Thanks so much, everyone. Um, have a great time, and look forward to talking to you soon. Okay, and we're doing some fun stuff. By the way, one, 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 one. Wait, I got one more thing for you. One more. Hold on. All right. Head over to. I'm gonna give you one more thing. All right, head over here, all right, federalhelpcenter.com. I want all of you over in federalhelpcenter.com because what we're going to start doing is I'm going to, essentially, we're gonna, we already are teaching live sessions with my students. We're going to essentially make that our one-stop shop for all the materials that we have. So from like free stuff to our annual like be just becoming a member like which is like i don't know 100 bucks a year 200 bucks a year to our paid programs are all going to be there uh federalhelpcenter.com so if you're not already there it's free right doesn't matter if you're paid or non-paid it's free because again we are now a national nonprofit, and so we're going to be starting to have our membership separate and so it won't be just me teaching it will be facilitating all the things so if you can see in there right now i'll pull up on the screen right you can see where we've listed out uh upcoming events that we're going to be attending or that we're hosting and so uh, you'll be able to see all types of events we're going to start putting in there information from that research that we pulled as well so again i uh, just want to share that with you as well as another resource for you guys looking forward to connecting with people wherever you are and with that, I'll say good night.